Hi Capricorn, this is your October 2020 tarot forecast. So this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are Capricorn Venus, you can treat this as a lover romance reading. Otherwise, you're looking at your emotional world, career, spirit world, you know, basically anything having to do with health, wealth, and sanity. So Capricorn, what do you need to know for October 2020? Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2020. Oh, that's so nice to see. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2020. Starting off with a beautiful love offer here, guys. Someone has a full cup to offer you. This could be spiritual awareness or um, sort of, uh, you know, spiritual or emotional aha moment as well. Very nice. All right, so we're going to qualify that with the two cards that jumped out here. Give me a second. I'll get the rest of your Celtic cross out for you. Okay, this I believe jumped out first. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I do want to let everyone know watching, by the way, that this has been a, there are a lot of challenges for every sign this month, so please don't feel like you're alone. Every sign has some significant, at least one significant challenge this month. Uh, Aries, uh, sorry, Mars is in retrograde here for the month, and we have two full moons both in Aries and Taurus in the month of October. So you are definitely going, every sign Capricorn, but you are not exempt. You're going to find yourself in a position here to make or break a comfort zone, right? All right, so let's get the rest of this out for you. Capricorn, someone missing Venus, October 2020. <laughs> wow, they're just flipping. Yeah, there's that. And this would have fell this way. Look at those fives. Conflict. Well, you're arguing about something here. Someone's going to make a swift move. Or at least you would like for someone to make a swift move here. Yeah, there's that nice full energy. I just want to make sure that nothing is flipped over there. Wow. So, yep, you're not exempt, my dears. Everyone's got a little bit of a struggle this month, but um, what do we have here? A couple of fives. You have a soulmate situation. Why are you arguing with a soulmate? <laughs> or over a soulmate or about a soulmate? What the heck? So bottom of the deck energy, Capricorn, is your nine of swords, right? So this is really heavy anxiety. The whole month is fraught with anxiety. <laughs> And I think this is probably part and parcel of just significant changes to a comfort zone here. I think it is going to, you're going to be thinking this way. Your ideas are not going to be met receptively here. You're going to maybe even torture yourself a little bit here. There could be even be an element of depression here as well. So I would really watch your mental state of mind in the month of October here uh, Capricorn despite the fact that you have many many good things going for you there's either energy around you or there is something like I said it could be planetary influence at this time um, just with significant changes but there's something here that is going to cause um, an upset but I do think it is going to force you into a new direction or, or make a choice around love and fresh starts okay so here, like I said, with the Ace of Cups is the central or it's the situation for the month. It is crossed by the Nine of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So this could be juggling two different worlds, two different people, places, or things um, to make you happy. What makes you the happiest it brings you a lot of emotional fulfillment here. We also see that Two of Cups right next to the one. So I feel like you either are with already your soulmate or you're communicating with a soulmate or you're competing over a soulmate or someone's competing for your time and attention here. We have those two twos, right? Two fives and two twos. 
So definitely juggling, definitely I don't see a three, and normally I wouldn't say this, yes, sorry, big fat lie, there's a three down here, so very easily it's also Cups Energy. There is definitely a third party situation here, guys. Definitely a third party situation. What are you juggling? I would just say if, if this is about concealing something or trying to get away with something, we do see that Seven of Swords over here, we see this Five of Swords over here too. I would play on the up and up because if somebody finds out, we have two nines here, I'm just realizing too. Wow. Lots of duplicates. Um, lots of opportunity to keep growing. Lots of opportunity to um, make choices. Uh, you're really going to have to set yourself free from something here because that nine of cups over the ace of cups paired with the two. You might even have a, two different things, pe people, places, or things that bring you so much happiness and you realize that you have to make a cut or someone's giving you an ultimatum here as well. Could be given an ultimatum. I think you know how you feel about a situation, however, but you are full of internal conflict or unwilling or unable to make a move. You're just, you don't want to make a move here. There is a lot of fear here, a lot of fear. At the foundation is the Seven of Swords. This is trickery, this is deception. It could be about moving into a direction that is like a calculated risk for you. Um, it could be very exciting energy, but you know, it, at, at crowning it or supporting it, uh, mirroring it rather, is the Four of Pentacles. So you're not even convincing yourself here. You certainly can't convince yourself of the next move, even though it could be, it could even be exciting. But you're sitting on something. It could just be about communication in general. Oops, it could be about communication in general. You're not willing to share your feelings. You're not willing to open up. There's an, there's an element of security or even overemphasis on security here where it's, um, <clears throat> I would really watch for deception right now, guys. We have some conflict cards. We have some trickery cards, anxiety over here. We have definitely have a celebration or at least a third party situation over there. That seven of swords is, um, right? It's the foundation of the entire month. And this is the overall energy for the entire month. Like that's legit upsetting. You're not convinced of something and you don't even, you can't even right now. Um, just moving out of this energy or recent past is your five of um, so, uh, wands. So this is the most exciting of the fives and it's the most positive in my view. Fives are all co conflict and chaos. But this one is helpful. This one is getting to the nitty gritty. This is fire energy, right? So it's usually fun, it's usually exciting. You can grow a lot from this and it's usually short lived like anything with fire, right? Even when they get mad, they get over it really easily. And of course, here in your near future, as it's mirroring is the two of cups. So this could just be about like a competition around a love interest, competition around what you really love or a soulmate situation. This is definitely someone on your side, someone on your team. Someone, maybe you, whether you're conscious of it or not, you're putting to the test or they're putting you to the test, but there's a win here. Definitely seeing eye to eye, very, very supportive soulmate uh, camaraderie partnerships there. So here's where it gets interesting as well. So how others see you as the three of cups. So this is a matter of celebration. How other people are seeing you is that you do have something to celebrate here. But because we have the one, the two, and the three over here, and then we have this sort of like tricky deception, little bit of um, I'm not trying to think of delusion necessarily because that'd be the seven of cups, but I'm trying to think of what are you trying to get away with, right? And it's just not going anywhere. And I would say that it has to do around a celebration. It would have to do around your peer group who's watching, who's listening, and it's really hard not to throw in a third party situation there as well. Like I do think that there is a choice in love, what you love, who you love, and that type of thing here. And then of course, how you see yourself as someone who is 
inundate it with conflict, okay? So this is either your actual vocal world where you are just in the midst of conflict with the people around you, you don't want solutions, you don't want to see eye to eye, the soulmate situation or camaraderie for some reason isn't important to you and you know this is this is a very very sharp argument it's just an argument but again it's hard to enjoy something here for um because of the level of anxiety that it's costing here in your hopes and fears is the knight of wands so we do have more wands energy here this is of course um, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius person. You could be dealing with, honestly, I would leave. A, I would say a fire sign more than likely, and with some water in their chart maybe. But um, yeah, this is fast moving energy at least. So something you know, in terms of hopes and fears, you want something to change really rapidly. You want something to go in a new direction very rapidly. You want to solve a problem or an issue or to get out of your head. You want to stop this anxiety. Um, but you need to be able to make a move, maybe higher learning, ninth house information is going to be helpful to you. Maybe a spiritual sense of self is going to be very helpful. could just be prayer, um, prayers and um, asking for some angelic help or if you believe in God and that type of thing, maybe saying some prayers could be helpful right now. But significant and swift change is approaching here, or at least that's what you want in your hopes and fears. And then as your advice card or outcome is the fool, this is really needed to take a new direction, a brand new, like everything. Everything that we just talked about here just needs to literally be thrown out in the garbage and you just need to start over, start something over. I wouldn't necessarily, I'm not suggesting start over with a new person necessarily, but your communication style, your thought process, what you're withholding, what you're trying to possibly manipulate or get away with here. It's not budging. It's just not going to work. Something that you're trying here, even if you think it's kind of fun or exciting, it is going to impact possibly negatively a soulmate situation. And um, I think it's just really important to be upfront and honest because, yeah, you're being asked to go in an entirely new different entirely new direction here at the end of the month but it is about your soul it's not just a new direction where do you want to move and that type of thing where do you want to live it's your soul guys the fool is the soul um you may just be coming to terms with something this month as well <clears throat> It could be because of new information or information that was tricky or you felt tricky. Yeah. There's definitely, I'm surprised we didn't see the devil card because I do feel an element of entrapment here for sure. I mean, that's, that's an intense bottom of the deck. That's, um... You don't want to get to the point where you need overkill. You don't want to drive something into the ground. You don't have to press an idea or a notion or a concept to death here, guys, with yourself or anyone else. Because, I, and, and it's, again, 10 to 1, this is going to be between you and a very, very, very close loved one. Okay, so you don't want to mismanage close relationships here either, especially just, just to what? Prove a point? Yeah. All right, guys, so we have a lot of oracles for you. Let's get to these. And like I said, this is happening to a lot of people. It's not just you. It's just going to be a lot of changes this month for everybody. A change in the wind. So, yeah, a new direction is necessary here. Your old ways, your old ways of thinking, old concepts, old ideas, maybe even a sense of what love is or what love does, how love operates, how love communicates. Love as a central notion, right, um, is going to have to be switched up for you. You're going to have to figure out how to love again or how to find love or love yourself. Forgiveness, miracles, and guardian angel. Yeah, I would really ask for help. I really would. I would say a prayer right now. You 
probably could use some help. And then miracles and forgiveness. I do think that um, forgiveness is a miracle or helps create them. So I think if you want some sort of peace here, I think forgiveness is going to be a major, major part of it. Either forgiveness for yourself or someone else. For yourself is one of my favorite cards from the um, Angel of the or Angel Oracle deck, but it's also the least romantic. Um, but it is profound. Where's my nine? Here she is. It is the most profound. And look at this. So bottom of the deck for the whole month and then your advice, okay? Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life, guys. Maybe you've just been suffering so long or been trying to just maybe go along to get along for so long. But, okay, I want to mention a couple things too. The Nine of Swords is inundated with doubt, fear, and anxiety. The Ten of Swords, which of course follows this, is overkill. It's too much. It's built to destroy you. You can withstand it, but it can. And I wanted you to see here too that this is not only a caged, as in trapped unicorn, which is a mythical animal, right? It's mythical. It's magical. And your magic is being thwarted not only by offense, but they have stab and gun wounds. Like there's a there's a lot of wounding here, guys. So really free yourself. Make a point of that. This is total freedom. This is a new soul path and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I would really get out of your head and I would really just be honest and maybe vulnerable at this point, guys. Maybe don't be the tough guy right now. Don't rely on we have a past or I know this is my soulmate. Maybe don't take something for granted here. Maybe come to terms with what it is you're really thinking and how it impacts how you're really feeling. And then have the courage to say, you know, I want, I choose peace. Let's, let's, Open the door of communication. It is going to be a conflict. It is going to be an argument. You are going to see eye to eye right away, but you long for sudden movement ahead, moving forward um, in a positive direction. So I think if you have that in your mind when you go into it, and I think if you are aware, like consciously aware of what it is that's bothering you and upsetting you and in which direction you need to go and what it is you're really thinking, you know, humble yourself to that and um, reveal that, okay? Reveal that, especially by the end of the month here because it's probably going to be very beneficial for you. Oh, almost forgot. And then butterfly, uh, dragonfly is illusion. This is the card of illusion. So it could just be a matter of this month is just the shedding of illusions, right? Which is great. No one needs to live under the illusion. We don't live in a cinema. This is real life. So it's time to lift the veil. Lift the veil, okay? October 31st, full moon in uh, Taurus could be very significant for you guys as well. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, I love hearing from you guys. Like, share, subscribe, that really helps me out as well. And I'll see you in the next reading for your sign. Bye for now.